you feeling like I am right now? Kind of hopeless, kind of sad, kind of upset. Um, well, my solution for that is art. And I have recently learned about a really cool technique that's sort of half doodling and half meditation. Um, and it's really, really soothing. It's a technique called neurographic art, and if you want to know more about it, I will uh, drop a link in the description uh, showing the tutorial that I used to learn how to do this technique. It's uh, the idea is that it connects your conscious and your subconscious minds, and it uh, helps remove the, the danger signals. So what I'm doing here is not the strict neurographic technique. It's, uh, it's sort of like um, art doodling using the principles of neurographic art. I just got some new colored pencils and I'm super stoked about the way that they the way that they go down and they even layer color over color. And the idea that I sort of had in mind with this, I was thinking about going one of two ways. One way would have been a spider web, and the other way, um, which is what I ended up going with, is the idea of sort of looking down a well. And uh, so I wanted these kind of mossy green, greenish, brownish colors. So part of what I'm doing with this piece of art right here is just playing with my new pencils and checking out the different sort of color ranges that they can do and, you know, that kind of thing. So it's partly playing and partly art therapy. And the playing part, I feel, is uh, what makes it art therapy. I don't know what it is about this particular technique that really it speaks to me in a really um, it's a lot of hemming and hawing and a lot of umming and, but the the core of it is removing the danger signals by rounding off every, every part of it that's sharp and the color is really just for my own pleasure. That's not, the technique is not dependent on that. Here's the spot where I thought I should have stopped, but did I? No, I bulldozed ahead, waiting for that ink to dry. It's iridescent ink, and it dried kind of lumpy, you know? You never know what's going to happen. One of the things I've been really, really interested in lately, and I just sort of can't get enough, is this is the matte up against the shiny so I have this silver ink that goes against the matte of that colored pencil and I just I just love it I can't get enough of it and so I've been doing a lot using that same sort of technique the, the shiny and the matte um, these are more traditional neurographic drawings and you can see that everywhere that there's a sharp edge is rounded. This one's done with a sharpie. This one's done on black paper with uh, different inks, white, silver, gray, different gel, glitter gel inks. This one's done with a sharpie and watercolors to, to, to add the color. This one's a sharpie and watercolors. And you can see that you can do simple shapes. You can incorporate words. This one has my name in it. Um, can make it look like things, like this one is a, a riverbed. Or you can be totally non-objective with it. Here's another white on black with ink added and the way the ink all just sort of ran together I thought was really awesome. This one includes the word love and that's what I'm sending to everybody today who's feeling down. And if you want to know more about how to do neurographic art, hit me up. I'd be happy to talk to you about it.